Hey guys, so the question I'm going to answer tonight's video is actually going to be a simple one. Do I have to have a special license to sell food online? So that's what we're going to cover now in Marketing Food Online tonight. David again. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day as always. So the question I want to get into tonight is actually one I was asked about a week ago. It was a great question from one of my subscribers. It was a question about licensing, the food business license. And they were asking actually, is there a special license that you have to have to sell food on the internet? And the answer is actually no, you don't. Now, with that being said, let me explain the answer and reason why you don't have to have a special license. Now, what I would highly recommend you do be you do have is actually you need to be incorporated. When you finally figured out what kind of a food business you want to have, maybe you're selling wholesale, maybe you're selling in bulk, maybe you're just selling in retail. You just want to sell from your yourself to um, a consumer through eBay or Etsy or whatever it may be. What I recommend you do is incorporate as an LLC. That is my opinion, of course. LLC is the best way to incorporate a food business. So LLCs are limited liability corporations, which limit your liability if something were to happen when it comes to your business. Um, also, second, you want to make sure you have insurance. You need to have food business insurance. It is a specific type of policy. It is written specifically for those who produce food products. Or if you're looking to be in the business of reselling food, you would definitely need to have that type of insurance. And that is also to protect you. Okay. So depending upon the type of business that you decide to do, if you're not producing, making, manufacturing a food product, I still highly recommend that you have some type of food business insurance. Now, thirdly, you need to find out, you need to find out, are you going to be selling this from a commercial facility? Are you renting a warehouse and you're going to stockpile food and then sell it online? If that is the case, then you need to check with your city and county on the type of licensing you would need to sell that food from that type of facility. Totally different if you're manufacturing it and you're making it, it's a different type of license. Now, what I meant earlier by no, there's no specific internet business license, is that normally what you do is when you, when you apply for a business license, uh, most states do this, you actually have to fill out a, a document stating are you going to be a retail storefront? Are you gonna be e-commerce and sell online? All right, sorry about that, guys. So are you going to be selling online? Because normally it will show on that type of application. Um, if you have a retail storefront, if you're going to be a wholesaler, et cetera, et cetera, that specific designation will normally be found on your business application when you apply for a business license, okay? Now, what I said in the, in the opening was that no, there's no specific license. So after you get a business license and you obviously determine how you're going to sell the product, there's no internet license that you would need to get. So the answer is no, but depending upon the type of uh, business formation and uh, your county and city, how they have their uh, application set up, that's how you distinguish the type of business that you have. So um, the other thing that you want to keep in mind is that obviously when you're manufacturing food, that would have to be in a commercial facility if you're looking to sell it through the internet. So being at home as a cottage food business, that is something that it actually is not allowed, so you can't be in your kitchen uh, producing some cookies and then selling them through the internet. Um, if you have a separate commercial kitchen and it is licensed and inspected and insured, that is a totally different type of business setup, and that is the one that you can obviously operate and then sell your product pretty much anywhere that you want. So once you have that commercial designation, and either, normally the Department of Agriculture within your state is going to be the uh, inspecting department that would come in. Some states and some counties utilize the health department, uh, but mostly it's the USDA. It will be the Department of Agriculture. Those are the people who will come in either um, quarterly, which is every three months, um, semi-annually, which is six months, or just once a year annually. Uh, that's going to be determined by that specific office within your state. And <clears throat> based upon how they determine their inspection uh, frequency, that is going to be designated for you. So I hope that answers the question. I wanted to just keep it short and sweet and to the point. So you don't necessarily have to have a specific internet license, 
but you do <clears throat> have to, of course, have a business license to operate a business, um, <clears throat> as well as having the ability to collect sales tax and then remit that to the state. So when you do that, you will have to designate the type of uh, way that you're going to sell the product to your customers. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, if this was helpful, and I hope that I answered your question, um, I try not to, uh, to actually um, offer any names of people who ask these questions. I simply just say subscribers. But I hope you get a chance to see this video and it helps answer your question. And if you have any questions about this, always, as always, just let me know down below. And I will hop to it as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Or you can hear me on my podcast. Take care.